Hey dolls, welcome to part two of my birthday vlog. I had to cut into two pieces because it was such a long vlog. Today is my actual birthday, so I love that I'm posting it today. I don't want to get on camera because I'm a hot mess. I've just been eating and enjoying myself. Um, so you're going to watch part two and part two is going to include the, everything that I didn't show. So after Starbucks, the spa at home spa, you dolls are going to love it. I'm also going to show myself cutting my birthday cake, which I forgot to show on the first vlog. So I'm going to add it into this vlog. So I'm going to actually start the video cutting the cake and then you'll see the rest of my birthday because you have to see inside of the cake guts. So we call me and Carla, the baker, call it cake guts. So you have to see the inside of the cake to understand how delicious my cake tasted. So let's start today's, well, part two of my birthday vlog. So I'm gonna blow my candles out. I only want one candle in here because I don't want to ruin the cake, but here it goes. Oh, I have to cut it, right? No, blow the candles first. So here it goes. I've already made my wishes off camera, so. <laughs> there we go, hey! <laughs> so I'm gonna cut my cake, oh no, here it goes. Dolls, look, dolls, look at the cake guts. So that is what Carla calls the inside of the cake, the cake guts, and it is pink, and it's like a strawberry filling. It's gorgeous, and I cannot wait to eat it. So I'm gonna eat it, and I'll be done. <laughs> I am obsessed, I'm gonna eat it, and probably next time you see me on camera, I'm gonna be, it's gonna be my birthday vlog, like the actual day, spend the day with me. So that's my cake. So I just got home from Starbucks. I did not like that drink. It was so vile, so sugary, and it's now left an aftertaste that I cannot get rid of in my mouth. But anyway, um, it was a nice experience and it just looks nice in pictures, but tasting it, it's like ice cream and I don't really want to drink ice cream in a like slush-like form. I like to drink ice cream as ice cream with that ice cream texture, if that makes sense. It just was doing something to my brain that I did not like. Anyway, so now I'm back. It's lunchtime. Well, it's a little bit past lunchtime, but I have a nice kind of slow day. Got to, I've got to adjust my tiara. So I'm going to be making a charcuterie board. I love my cheese boards and all the little snacks on top of it. And I feel like I'm good at making these. I always like making them on my birthday since my 30th birthday. I just love it. It just feels so, I don't know how to describe it. So I'm going to probably change into a different outfit because I'm now at home and relaxed now. Or I might keep this on, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to make a board and just like relax and kind of wind down into the evening. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna order food, probably. I don't know, I don't know. I'm just, I've just not been having much appetite. I've just been like grazing and snacking. So a charcuterie char board is the best um, to have for me right now. So I'm gonna make one, just a little personal small one. Obviously I'm not having a bunch of people over. So it's just gonna be for me. So let's go and make it. So I got this cute board from Dollar Tree. Can you believe it? Five dollars. And I'm going to be using this. I've been wanting to make a board, um, a cheese board, cheese tray out of this board. So I'm going to be using that. I absolutely love it. The texture of it. I love it. It's actual wood. I'll be using some organic sharp cheddar cheese because I can't do anything without sharp cheddar. I'm going to be using some. Oh, I forgot olives. No, I knew there was something I forgot. Okay, so I'm going to be using it. I'm going to be having these um, salami. And these kind of look like olives, but they're actually grapes. And then I've got my nuts of choice. I might be, I'm going to mix it up with cashews, um, probably some peanuts, almonds and pistachios. They're all my favorite nuts. Maybe add some raisins on there and probably a little bit of granola. I don't know. We'll see. So <laughs> we're going to make that right now. So I like to start off with my cheese first because 
it's gonna like help me know where I need to put everything so I'm gonna just I'm not cutting pretty pieces of cheese I'm probably gonna cut like a, a block of cheese like two bits of cheese and I break it up with my hands when I eat it I love cheese so like maybe actually I might cut them into some cubes <laughs> so like I just hate cutting that's truly what my issue is so I'm just gonna cut a few blocks off and cheese is like my base for my boards so there we go I'm now gonna use the salami and some of the salami in near the cheese because they're very much similar we want all of our salty stuff next to each other so we forgot to get something like crackers so that's that and now i'm going to take my cashews i'm going to take actually my almonds because the cashews are very salty and i'm going to have them here i don't want the cashews near the fruit so i'm going to have the the almonds separating it did i just say alm almonds like how americans how you guys say it <laughs> almonds 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 and then a bit of the cashews there just a little bit of cashews they some of my berries and just have them in the corner did i just say berries grapes <laughs> what is it with me today <laughs> and then just have them here and then i'll probably have a few grapes not what well, berries <laughs> over in here so like a strawberry and a few of the berries here i hate how the salt is touching it and i think that's good i don't want to overdo it here's my little board I have it with my poppy drink might as well makes for a good lunch and here is how my birthday lunch turned out i feel like i'm all chef mode today seriously it is so delish it feels like i went to some type of like fancy restaurant and i'm doing all of this at home like in the comfort of my own apartment and i love it how i didn't have to step outside to feel to do this and all of this is just like really quickly so i'm going to chow down on my lunch and then prepare for the evening because i'm going to take a nice bubble bath and i want to show you dolls how i put that together obviously you're not going to see me in the bath <laughs> so <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna love this i love this whole little meal here and it's very easy and affordable to make i love my cheese boards they are the best <laughs> it's so good dolls i love my cheese board so mm, mm. so dolls my cheese boards are so good i love my cheese boards i love i'm not i feel like i'm a rat i just love cheese <laughs> and i couldn't even make it to the to my um sofa i just have started grazing in the kitchen so mm, so good like if you ever come to my house i don't know how that'll happen but if you ever come i am gonna serve you a cheese board like you deserve it <laughs> birthdays i've ever had one of the most relaxing one of the most tastiest actually my 30th birthday i had a lot to eat well this is really good <laughs> i'm enjoying the cheese i love it i love my board it's so aesthetically pleasing mm. Mm -mm -mm. so mm. so good I don't even like eating on camera, but this is so good. Okay, so I'm now going to prepare my hot bubble bath and I'm going to take you dolls with me. I feel like it's time for wine this evening. It's time to unwind. I'm probably going to show you, well, I'm probably going to make a shashi tube board again, but I'm not going to show you how I'm making it because we've already done that. But I'm going to have the same board. I'm just going to add some wine and um add more cheese and other things that i've eaten already because <laughs> i want that in the bath i want to have a nice bubble bath with my cheese tray oh that's going to be heaven and champagne but i want to make like some really good not champagne prosecco um and i want to add like i want to make it all pretty you're going to see my wine i'm going to make really gorgeous wine so let's do that we are doing my chanel glass for the bathtub so here it is I am going to be using pink Moscato. I did say Prosecco, but you know, I can't open it. I don't have a cork opener. And then I'm going to be using Sparkling World Cheers Rosé. This drink is so good. I love it. So those are the drinks. And I'm going to also be using some, you're about to see. 
some cotton candy, so candy floss, I'm going to be putting in there. And I'm going to be colouring the pink, the pink, the drink pink. So I'm going to be putting some pink colouring in here, glitter, some fairy dust inside the drink. So here's my fairy dust. It matches. So here's my fairy dust. It matches. So here it is. Look, looks just like my nails. It's literally the same colour as my nails. Look at this. So I'm going to be putting more of it in my drink. You want to have a lot of it. So it could be pink. I think this is enough. I think that is enough. Okay, so I'm going to add some of the, a lot of this. And. Oh, gorgeous. You have to be here to see it closer. Look at that colour. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. That is so pretty. <gasps> it's like pearls. It literally looks just like my nails. Oh my goodness, I love that. It's all glittery. So, and now I'm going to add a bit of the Prosecco. No, Moscato. Moscato inside here. Just a little bit, not too much. Oh my God, look at that dolls. How gorgeous is that? It's literally like a pearl. Look at my pink drink. That is the most beautiful drink. And you can stir it. Look at the glitter. Oh my God, I love it. Love it. It literally looks just like my nails. I'm trying to get it as close to the light so you can see it. It looks just like my nails. So now I'm going to add, I was going to add some fruit in it, but I really don't want to mess it up. I'm going to put some of the cotton candy on the side. Look at that. So I'm going to put some of this on the side. It's literally the most gorgeous drink I've ever set my eyes on. Look at the drink. It's so pretty. I love it. It's so pretty. <gasps> love. I love I'm going to put all of this in the bath and I'm going to also put some chocolates in there and set up my bathtub with rose petals that are from the flowers that I got for my birthday. So let's go to the bathroom. Here's my gorgeous 
gorgeous bath. I love it. It's so pretty. Everything came up really gorgeous. I love it. And I can't wait to just like relax. I'm not going to feel my relaxation part, but you guess, I guess you know what happens. I'm going to eat my chocolate, drink my wine <laughs> and just enjoy the rest of my birthday. So I guess we're going to end the vlog here. It's been such a fun, cozy birthday at home and I'm ready to just unwind and hurry up and get inside. So I guess I'll do the outro. So thank you so much dolls for watching this video. I'm about to head into my bathtub. I hope you dolls enjoyed my at home birthday vlog. I enjoyed filming it. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait for chapter 32 to begin. And yeah, I just proved that you can have a birthday at home and just have fun, have some little self care, self love. I'm about to get in the shower so you can see my hair is steaming up. <laughs> so yes, thank you so much for watching dolls. As usual dolls, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, subscribe down below. Let me know what you love about my birthday vlog and I will see you dolls in my next video. Wait, not smooching. Cheers to 32. I can't wait for this new age. So I hope you dolls have your wine at home or whatever you're drinking. Cheers to 32. Clink, clink. Bye. <laughs> Bye dolls, <laughs> love you dolls, bye.